Hello and welcome. My name is Dan Edo, Application Engineer here for Saratech. Today I'm going to be talking about VMAP VizQ. VizQ, the Visual Queue Manager for VMAP, improves your productivity by streamlining and automating the often cumbersome process of using a remote server to solve your finite element analysis modeled using VMAP. Input file transfer, batch analysis job submittal, queue management, results retrieval, and server management are all controlled through an easy-to-use visual environment integrated within VMAP on a desktop computer. It contains two main components. You have the client and you have the server. The client allows you to visually submit, monitor, and manage analysis jobs for batch processing and automatically retrieve results when a job is complete. VizQ server drives the solver software, the batch queue, files and directories on the compute server. An important step is to configure the VizQ server with the specific solver commands. Configuration of the server. Under the configure tab, you need to make sure that you specify a directory, your command lines, and any additional options that you have. For the client setup, you need to make sure that you configure the server and any additional options that you have. Now, on the server configuration, there's two file transfer methods. You can copy it to a shared directory, or you can use the internet slash FTP. And this will allow you to go ahead and retrieve your files uh, conveniently from that server. Inside of FEMAP, all that you're going to do is instead of using an integrated solver or a link solver, you're going to spe specify VizQ, and that will allow you to communicate with your compute uh, solver. Inside of FEMAP, like I said, all that you would do is go to your analysis, and once you're at your analysis set, you just specify VizQ. Now on my machine, I have the server and the client on the same machine. So let's just go ahead and quickly look at the VizQ server setup. So under configure, I have a directory, and this is where uh, my stuff is being sent to, this, this directory. In my case, it's C drive VizQ. Then I have my command lines. I specified that I want to use NXNastra in this case, and here is the solver that I'm going to use. So in my case, it's Nastran w.exe. That's the executable for, for Nastran. If I need to change any of the configuration for that solver, I could go ahead and do so uh, using the RCF file. Then if I have any additional options that I want to go ahead and specify, I can go ahead and specify that. So this would be things like uh, job submission interval, max, max simultaneous job. So if I have more, more than one job running at a time, maybe I have multiple licenses, I could go ahead and do that. If I only want this to be ran during a certain time hours, I could go ahead and specify those as well. Now on the client side, I'm going to go ahead and specify my server configuration. And I'm using uh, that server that we have uh, defined already. And it's going to be linked to that same working directory. And this is so I can retrieve those files from there. Now under options, I can specify any other additional options that I want to, to specify. Um, so I can have it automatically delete those files from the server if I want, and I have it automatically retrieving those result files. So inside FEMAP, let me keep these open. If I go ahead and hit uh, Analyze here, and it's going to go ahead and pop open this window here, which is saying a job name, file name. Let's make sure that we have a right input file. So it wrote out the input file, as you can see right here in the FEMAP message window. And I'm going to use the command. Uh, this is the VizQ server that I have, and I'm going to have it automatically retrieve my results. And I'm not going to select delete results because it's going to help us in this case. So on the server side, you'll see it pop up right here in a second because it pings. There I hit my server, and you'll notice it going to the, uh, the client side here in a second. You'll see it's in the client side. So here is the input file. It looks like it has completed on the server shown up here. And now you'll notice that it has ran to uh, my local drive where I told it to. So my results have, have shown up here. So now all I have to do, I sent my information to the server, server sent it back. And now if I want to post process or look at any information inside FEMAP, I can just right click on results. I can say attach to results if I want to do a results attach, or I could do file import analysis results. And I'll just go ahead and input the analysis results. You notice now I have my 
my results inside of FEMAP. So that's the basic setup of VizQ inside of FEMAP. We do have a PDF that will walk you through these steps. If you are interested in this document, please feel free to reach out to us and we will gladly provide. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.